sure you guys want to know what this is, right? What's good everyone, it's MJ with 23 Dan back with another video. So you guys are probably familiar with this logo, right? So this is Minute Maid Poppy. I had just come back from vacation. I did Maryland, I did Pennsylvania, I did San Diego, finally home. And to my surprise, I come home to a box, open it up, immediately go on IG, IG Live or uh, you know the IG stories and whatnot. If you guys follow me there, you guys know what's up. But I literally like open the box and I put it down and just took a step back. Because in this box right here is something that no other sneakerhead owns right this is a reconstructed custom nike air ship So opening up the box, first get a note. And shout out to Ray Henderson because I've been working with him for a few months now trying to push this story of the Nike Airship. Again, if you guys don't know anything about the Nike Airship, you guys can click the card up above to learn all about it. But basically, it is the first shoe that Michael Jordan wore while entering the NBA. So he wore it during the 1984-85 NBA season, his rookie season is because his shoe was not yet complete, the Air Jordan 1. And so Nike had to figure out a way to put this guy in some shoes, their shoes, in order for him to, you know, start playing. So anyways, this is a note from Ray. It says, thanks for everything you've done to assist with this project. As promised, the pair you've been waiting on. Enjoy and beat to shit, Ray. When he first gave me the shoe, and this is it right here, this was his first rendition. Uh, I would say probably he made five of these, and uh, he sent me one. And this was the first one that I had reviewed. And this one is the black and red version of the Nike Airship. This is the shoe that supposedly got banned by the NBA. If you guys want to know more about that story as well, there is a documentary about the Air Jordan 1 and even this shoe in general called Unbanned. You guys can watch it on, uh, I believe, Hulu. Hulu has it. Um, there's some other platforms that have it as well, but I have it on Hulu. And uh, yeah, Unbanned on IG created a, you know, a story about this as well. Um, I made a small cameo in that video, but um, I mean, it's not enough to actually tell you guys the true story from my perspective, but in, indeed, this is the Nike Airship, right? And so what Ray sent me was Michael Jordan's version of the Nike Airship, and this is the white and red. So when this got banned, supposedly by the NBA, Nike came forward with a white and red version predominantly white and red and it is the shoe that Michael Jordan wore throughout his rookie campaign in 84-85. So what Ray did is he totally reconstructed a shoe from scratch from the bottom up with premium full grain leather lambskin on the interior just like the other models that he recreated that I'd done videos on and a different type of uh, leather up top. You know everything is genuine it's like I will show you guys up close shots b-roll footage you name it um, but the thing that sets this shoe from everything else it is the um, I would say that it is not as high as the uh, one that he sent me so you guys can see here how high this one is compared to this version so this version actually fits way better but the one that also sets it off is the Nike Air on back. And this is just like how Michael Jordan wore it 
in 1984-85. So shout out to Ray, shout out to you bro, Minute Maid Poppy, for recreating the Nike Airship to true form. Now, we also hope that Nike will bring forth the story, bring forth the shoes, the colorways and whatnot, and uh, really, really just bring it to, to this spec. Like, Ray has just done an awesome job all throughout this sneaker. Um, man, I can't, I can't tell you how dope this is. Even, even the top. It's, um, I would say that the, dif the biggest difference between, like, an Air Jordan 1, you can see it has the Air Jordan 1 outsole, um, in comparison to this version is that it has a leather tongue. The, uh, Air Jordan 1s have the nylon tongue. And, uh, you know, the shape as well right here the red that goes across on the collar so we've seen like some versions of the Air Jordan 1 with these types of colors but uh, you know this is totally a new shoe this is the airship it looks like the Air Jordan 1 but it is the airship so Nike has never retroed the Nike airship and this is our chance to have them do so and again, if you guys follow me on IG, Twitter, Facebook, um, I do have a petition to retro airship. And uh, you guys can see that hashtag down below. And I have it across like my platforms. And I really would love to have this shoe retroed at some point or another. So Nike, if you guys are watching, please retro the airship. Because this right here is just something that needs to be out there the story there's been the documentary unbanned me uh a lot of other people on instagram that are looking for this shoe to be in the limelight you know because this is a part of history this is a part of sneaker history and in order for this shoe to to really you know bring the light out of everything the ban and everything i would say that nike definitely needs to come out with this you know what i mean and you know uh in comparison with the black and the red and the white and the red a lot of people were actually feeling the white and the red this is the cleanest that i've seen uh an an airship you know a physical nike airship in hand and uh absolutely gorgeous it's dope so again, shout out to Ray, Minimate Poppy. Thank you for sending this my way. Thank you for gifting the pair in my size. That's awesome. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check him out, he has Minute Maid Poppy on IG. And uh, if you guys want your own reconstructed Nike Airship, you guys can check out his website on his IG. I'll also post everything in the description below so you guys can go check that out. But for now, uh, I'm just going to leave you with some B-rolls so you guys can see just the... Uh, awesome quality and the materials and craftsmanship that he's done with this shoe and uh yeah sign the petition as well i have a petition you guys can check that out in the description below uh retro the nike airship let's go mm -hmm.